One thing I hear a lot of people in the gun community say nowadays is that they would love to have more experience with more different types of guns, different models, that they'd love to own or buy more guns. But in these days and times, it's kind of hard to justify another $500, $600, $700 to go out and buy a new gun. That's a big expenditure just to support a hobby, especially once you already have your guns that you need for self-defense. Well, I think they're looking at this completely wrong when they're looking at that big price tag. Now, usually I'm the king of self-delusion. I mean, I can really rationalize any bad financial decision I want to make. I have proven that time and time again in my life. Uh, just something I am really, really good at. I can pull the wool over my own eyes anytime I need to to get myself to spend money. But this time, I think I'm really right on track when it comes to buying firearms. There's one really big reason that makes it to where I think people are looking at this the wrong way. And that is that guns almost never lose any substantial part of their value. Uh, as long as you buy a gun at a fair market price or new or used, uh, you're not going to really lose anything on its value. Especially if you buy a used gun. If you buy a used gun at fair market value, you lose nothing when you resell it. If you buy a new gun, you lose maybe 10%. Now, the only time you really get burnt is if you like buy a gun during a craze. Like, if you went out and bought an AR for $3,000 just because you were afraid you are never going to get one, that's a really bad decision and you're going to get burnt on that. But buying guns, like I said, at a fair market value, especially used guns, you're taking almost no financial risk at all. Because of that fact that guns don't really lose their value, there's two really good ways to look at buying a new gun. One is, it's like putting money in a savings account, a very low interest earning savings account because the price may really not go up much. I mean, I sometimes have guns that have gone up a lot, guns that I've bought for seven, eight hundred dollars that are worth thousands of dollars now, but usually they don't lose any value. So you're putting the money in a savings account. It's like saying, instead of saying, oh, can I really justify spending five, six, seven hundred dollars on a new toy? Should I put five or six or seven hundred dollars in savings? Because I can't count the number of times that I have said, up, oh, I need some money for a vacation or something, you know, a bill comes due. I go in my safe, find something, sell it, make the money I need right away for what I need to pay. And then when I have money again, I buy that gun back or one just like it. So it's like your own little personal savings account in your own little safe in your own house. Now, the second reason, which is almost as good a reason as the first one, and it gives you a lot of leeway to try new guns, is don't look at it as a five or six or $700 investment. Look at only what you'll lose if you have to turn around and sell it, even if you, at worst, lose 10%. So you buy a gun for $550 and you end up losing $50, $60 on it. You keep that gun two or three weeks, maybe two or three months. You take it to the range two, five, ten times. Then you take that $50 or $60 you lost, you spread it out over all those times you took it to the range. How much does it cost to rent a gun? Well, take it to the range 10 times, that's $5 a trip. When you compare that to the price of the ammo you spent, that's marginal. It's almost something you're not going to notice. So for almost nothing extra when you go to the range, you get to try a new gun for as long as you want to try it before you hand it off to somebody else. I mean, what other hobbies can you spend $50 over a two or three month period other than the expenses of shooting it, which you would pay on any gun, if even if you took your old ones, how many hobbies do you have that you can spend that little money and get that much experience with new items every couple of months or even every couple of weeks? So when you're trying to justify buying a new gun, don't think about the money you'll spend. Think about the money you're saving. Think, I'm putting this money in savings. This is just like putting it away. I put it away in this gun. That means I'm not going to waste it on other things where I have nothing to show for it. I've actually got something I can turn right back around and cash it out. It's like buying a savings bond almost. So think about it that way. Think about I'm being responsible and I'm putting money in savings. Or think of it like I'm spending $50, maybe even less. The longer I keep it, the less I'm spending to rent a gun for as long as I want to rent it. And the longer I keep it, the less it costs me. So just think of it that way. Think of it, what other hobby can I spend 50 or $60 and have a brand new item every couple of weeks? So think of it that way. Don't think of it as I'm spending money. Think of it as I'm saving money or I'm spending so little money, it doesn't even matter.